Back to politics now. Seven days left before Israel's March 23 vote, the fourth Knesset election in two years. So we turn to our eighth installment of ILTV's Knesset Party's Breakdown, today focusing on the opposition party leader, Yair Lapid, and the Yeshatid faction which he chairs. Widely viewed as the top rival candidate for prime minister opposite incumbent Benjamin Netanyahu, Knesset opposition leader and Yeshatid party chair Yair Lapid is polling behind Netanyahu's Likud with an estimated 18 to 20 seats. But despite often earning decent portions of the vote, receiving 19 mandates in just its first year in 2013, this is arguably the closest that Yeshatid has ever been to actually ending Netanyahu's tenure. Following a 30-year-long and successful career in journalism, activist and, at the time, Friday Night News host Yair Lapid announced his entry into politics and the formation of the Yeshatid party, meaning there's a future. And billing itself as a secular centrist faction, the party has typically focused on social civil issues, like improving or even completely revamping systems for health, civil, and LGBT marriages, transportation, education, housing, and the condition of the middle class. The party also pushes for consistency and equality in education and in the military draft, including for Arabs and the ultra-Orthodox. And promoting the resumption of peace talks with the PA on the basis of forming two states for two peoples, just without removing the larger settlement blocks or dividing Jerusalem. That said, the party's primary focus has shifted in recent years to fighting for transparency and against alleged corruption in government. Particularly after Lapid was fired from the Netanyahu coalition in 2014 over disagreements regarding budget measures, settlements, and a bill on Jewish nationalism. So then fast forward now to the current series of elections, and it becomes clear why Yesh Atid continues to grow in popularity, despite accusations that Lapid would be unfit to be premier or that the party is campaigning on a platform of just not Netanyahu, especially after dissolving the Blue and White Unity Party with Benny Gantz to sit at the head of the opposition. Gantz, meanwhile, forming an emergency coalition with Netanyahu to deal with the pandemic, which was marked by broken promises, constant infighting, and ultimately dissolving and thrusting the country back into fourth elections next week.